If you ever have a situation in which you need some information lined up on the left margin but other information on that same line flush with the right margin, then you need to know about right tab stops. Hi, I'm Debra with LegalOfficeGuru.com and today I'm going to show you how to set up right justified tab stops. They come in really handy in situations like this promissory note header or even in lists where it might make more sense for information to be lined up along its right edge rather than the left edge or the center. All you have to do is go into the paragraph dialog box, which is accessible via this little launcher arrow on the bottom right of the paragraph section of either the Home tab or the Layout tab. Once you're in there, click Tabs at the bottom left to go into the Tabs dialog box. Within the Tabs dialog box, it's just a matter of determining where you want your right tabbed information to line up and choosing Right under Alignment deciding whether you want any sort of leader character to lead up to the right tab text, then clicking OK to finish. Let's go through a couple of examples. In the first example, we'll set up the promissory note header we saw earlier. I've already typed the date here, so now I want the amount of the promissory note to be flush with the right margin. With my cursor positioned in this line, I click on the launcher arrow, for the paragraph dialog box and click tabs on the bottom left of that dialog box. First, since my page is eight and a half inches wide with one inch left and right margins, that means I have 6.5 inches of typable space. So I'll set my right tab stop position at 6.5 inches to make the amount flush with the right margin. Now I'll choose right under alignment and none under leader since I don't want any characters between the date and the dollar amount. Once I click set and then OK, the tab right after the date moves the cursor all the way to the right and when I type in the dollar amount the characters sort of push away from the right margin. Let's look at another example. Here's a list of employees with their names, dates of hire, and position titles. What if we wanted the position titles to be right aligned? We select all four of these lines in this list to ensure that the tab settings, which are paragraph level formatting, are applied to all of them. Now we go back to that same paragraph dialog box using that launcher arrow in the paragraph section of the Home tab and click Tabs on the lower left. Once at the Tabs dialog box, I need to decide where each of the tab stops need to go. Since I have multiple tabs on each line, I need to set all of them. I'll place that second column, Date of Hire, at the 1.5 inch mark, and that's going to be a left tab by default. I'll click Set to lock that in, and now I'll decide where the position title is going to align. I'll place that at the 4 inch mark to leave enough room for the Date of Hire column, and I'll be sure to choose Right under Alignment, so it's a right tab, and click Set to lock that in. Since this data is arranged in three columns, those are all the tab stops I need, so I can click OK to finish. And look, there are my three columns, and the position title is lined up along the entry's right-hand edges. Let's try a third example, an index. Maybe you've put together a notebook with some tabs and you want to place an index in the front for easy reference with a dot leader from the end of the entry to the right flush page number. This one is very similar to the first example. I'll get to the Tabs dialog box via the Paragraph dialog box, set my tab stop position to 6.5 inches, and my alignment to right, but this time before I click Set, I'll choose the dot leader under Leader. Once I click Set and OK, I can type in my entry, then press Tab to enter the number it corresponds to in the notebook. That's a pretty easy and easy to read index. Remember, tab settings are paragraph level formatting, so if you want these settings to apply to multiple paragraphs, be sure to select all of those paragraphs with your mouse or keyboard before you bring up the paragraph dialog box. So where do you think you'll use Write Tabs? Let me know in the comments below. This has been Deborah with LegalOfficeGuru.com. Thanks for watching.